Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you all had an awesome weekend and I'm up this morning with a surprise creation design team haul and project share. There are a lot of new dies here from Nicole and also my own designs and a couple of designs from surprise creation themselves. So first up, this one is my design. I've made this and I'll measure it on the card. And it's a cute little doggy with a dicky bow, his nose and his eyes. Next up, my design again. And these are a couple of little lovebirds with little love heart tails, which these little hearts fit on top of. You get extra hearts and you get a pair of wings and it's very cute and it's kind of a little bit folk art. Next up is my Easter egg designs and I haven't poked them out. Yeah, I know I'm naughty. <laughs> I've been so busy, but you've got one that can be used sort of mermaidy or dragon egg. And then you've just got these pretty ones and you've got a back layer. So if you wanted to and you didn't mind the intricacy, you can turn them into shakers, but really they are meant for layering. So if you want to do them cute and pastel, which is what I've done today, or make them really glamorous like Fabergé eggs with all your pearls and your bling, they are a very pretty set. Next up, my design again, and this is a love wreath, which comes with a bonus circle because they like to fill um the die if you know what i mean on the machine they don't like to waste any space so you've got a stitch circle you've got three hearts you've got the actual heart wreath i've used that as well so i can measure it and you get a script word which is love something like this valentine's day birthday and even wedding and then we have a surprise creation die and I absolutely love the shape of this, but you can see the cobweb, can't you? I can. I can see a cobweb. I just know these are going to be absolutely fabulous for Halloween. You can cut one out. You can score it to get those lines in there. Or you can just sort of like stamp cobwebs on it. And it's just going to, you know, sort of enhance the element of that shape. But it's also very floral. And I have used that one today. Next up, I've also used this one, and this is Nicole Design, and this is a makeup bag memory decks, and you've got the nail polish, the brush, you've got the lipstick, you've got the corners of the bag there that you can pop down here. I didn't actually do that. And then you get the makeup mirror um, with either the powder or the blush, and then you cut these separately. Uh, one in silver foil that will go in there for your mirror and then the other one which would be your powder or your blush going in there and that is your little uh, pull zipper that goes on the corner you also get another decorative top piece to give it an edge which is super super cute and I will measure that one made up Next up is another one that I've made, Nicole again, and I apologise for making it a mess on the card because that's what I do. I get everything out like a child at Christmas and it just gets really untidy. But this one is a unicorn memory deck. And as you can see, its eyebrow is still in there. But you get the hooves, you get the tail, you get the mane, you get the unicorn horn and the little muzzle piece there for its face. And then you also get that other little piece there, which is the top section of the main. And I'll show you that. Next up, my design, and it's a mini paint palette. I will be back with everything else that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to be back on Friday with them all. Yeah, I'm just getting my dates correct here. So we're doing Monday, which is today. Tuesday is the tutorial, and I'm going to show you what I've got for that. Somebody sent me some stuff. Wednesday is going to be MX Art again. Thursday is going to be Alina Craft. And Friday, we're going to be right back to Surprise Creation. So if you wanted to mark that down, or just keep watching this video to remind yourself. Right, so it's a paint palette and it comes with a little brush. And then you get the little blob there that you can cut in any colour to go on top of your paintbrush bristles to make it look like you took one of the colours out of your palette. 
So it's, you know, it's a watercolour palette. And this bit here, you can fold so that it will be a lift up little flap on your slimline card. So that's why I did it like that. Or you can do two together and uh, you can just have it as, you know, just a thing on its own. You can also use these for doing colour swatching. So you can colour swatch what you want, stick it back, and then you could have it that way. You could punch a couple of holes and put your book rings in, and you'd have a seriously sweet, cute little colour swatch for all your colours and your pens and stuff. So I will be doing that on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday you have to forgive me and I'm going to measure this one because I haven't made it up yet and if you're interested it is four and three quarter inches and then to its folding tab down is two inches so that's how big the little paint palette is next up another one of my designs and these are the packaging uh, dies which I've shown you before on my skinny decks you get the same size circles but this one will leave a stitch on the outside this is for the tapes and the um, foam tape that you get from Dollar Tree and on that plastic packaging there are parts you can cut out which create shakers but as I said I'm going to be back on Friday and I will show you how those work Next up, I believe this is Nicole Designs, and we've got three little bunnies there. One can be a shaker if you want it to be, or you can just layer them up. You've got all of the earpieces, and I believe those are the little arms and the face and the whiskers. So these are little bunny shakers or just layering up for tags or popping on your card. I am going to be back on Friday with these and I will measure one for you. I believe this is the largest one because the other one's got its ears folded down. Get the ruler the right way around and it is two and a quarter inches each. Right, next up is another memory dex and this one is rather glamorous. Lovely, lovely oval there that's got all those little... Um, bits almost like teardrops in there I haven't cut this one out yet but it's really really pretty so measuring along its full cut size is a fraction as you can see over four inches and then I have another one this time it's a heart shape with two bows you can make that layering up or once again you can do it as a shaker that will be exactly the same size as I've just measured there for you. And then I have another memory decks. This one's a fabulous one and it's a t-shirt. So you can make a shaker t-shirt, a layering up t-shirt or just t-shirts, separate pieces there that you can pop onto a card and you can just use your stamps, your dies. If someone's in a football team, you can put the number on the jersey if it's breast cancer awareness, you know, you can pop your ribbon on there and your um, sentiment to whoever that you're sending it to. But exactly the same width again as those underneath. And I will be back on Friday with these. And then next up, we have that cobwebby shape again. I mean, I know it's not cobweb, but, you know, it just reminds me. And these are in out. And I'm going to measure these because I've used them whoops on my one of my projects today but these are six inches cut line to cut line and then go around the other way and it is six inches into the cut line so they're just absolutely gorgeous and there's a couple of things I've got to move out of the way which I didn't receive but I've used them to help me in my project and that is whoops move that this is the next one it is a bag die. It is an absolutely gorgeous size and I have used this today. Now it will fit on your regular size cutting plates, your standard cutting plates. So you've got the bag, you've got the oval, you've got a little sentiment strip and two flowers. You've got that lovely teardrop pattern again that you've seen in the memory decks. This section here is the bottom of your bag and then you've got a decorative arch which would go along here 
and then you also have a nice little tag and of course as you know once again I destroy the packaging but I am going to show that all measured up for you right so what have I done today I've also used these um, smaller size ragged edge from surprise creation I will link these and I've also used the ragged edge tags now I'm not sure but I think these actually come in double sets so I'm going to flatten some stuff out so that I can get it in and let's start with the bag right what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my camera and hopefully we'll be able to get more in but isn't that gorgeous that's that lucky, I think it's either called Lucky Me or Lucky You Pads that I got from Tuesday morning. I put a, just a little bit of tissue in there so you can see what it looks like. And then on the base there, so I'm going to do the full measurements. It's a great size. And then as I've just showed you, you've got all those fabulous elements to go with it too. Right, let's get my ruler go for the top opening first and it is five inches go from the top to the bottom and we are just over five inches and then the depth of the bag so you know the size of goodies you can get in here is just a fraction under two inches and then the base of the bag a fraction under two inches so isn't that absolutely awesome? And as I just showed, you know, you've got all these bits. So if you're going to a wedding or something and you put in a nice foil fancy oval or something onto there, it's just going to look really glamorous. But I did this one because I just, you know, I need something for my husband for Valentine's Day. So I've made it now. So there we have it. And this candy twine that I've got in here is that huge roll that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And uh, this is glitter cardstock from Joanne. Right, so that's the first one. Next up, let's go to unicorns. And this is the memory decks that I just measured. Isn't that cute? All of this paper here is from Tuesday morning, I believe. These stickers are from Dollar Tree. They had some uh, Heidi Swap there, but they're all gone now. I'm going to try and get a good picture. There we are. So there you've got the muzzle and the unicorn horn. You've got the eyes. I put just a little bit of yellow cardstock behind there to make my stars yellow on, it, on its rear end, I'll say politely. And then on that gorgeous pink gingham background there just really really cute and normally I would put all little sentiments and stuff and go absolutely mad but I try to keep them as plain as possible so that you can see the bare bones of what they are if you know what I mean right next up is the makeup bag and I use the glam pad from Tuesday morning I think this one is my mind's eye and I looked at the makeup brush and I looked at the lipstick that comes in the die set and I thought yay look at that what a great match that red is from Joanne and then I used the gold card stop there to pick up the gold that's in the paper and to do the little zip closure that little white piece up there you don't have to use it but I just thought it was a nice little finishing touch but how matchy matchy is that isn't that cool? Ooh, yes, I like that. And of course, pink background. Awesome. So that's the second memory decks. And next up is one that I've done, and I'm going to call them spider webby, even though they're not. But isn't it pretty? That just looks like a big burst of sunshine to me. I really, really like that. And I've curled the wings up, used the pearlized cardstock from Joanne and my white gel pen. And as I said, you know, it can be Valentine's Day, it can be a wedding, it can be a birthday. But this was using the wreath and then adding my little lovebirds to it. And the reason that I actually designed those, I'll let you into a little secret. 
I've got these two gorgeous white doves that I always put to the top of my Christmas tree every year and they represent my husband and I. And, and I usually go, Wee, you know, as they're, as they're whizzing around because we got one of those rotating uh, bases where you plug it in and your tree will just keep spinning all the time. It doesn't spin rapidly. But uh, I put these two little lovebirds up at the top and when it's their turn to come around, I always say to my husband, look, 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 there we are. You know, he thinks I'm crazy. I probably am, actually. But there you go. <laughs> There's the lovebirds and I'm going to measure them. Right. The size of that frame is the biggest one that I used and it's six inches. And then if I do the tiny little lovebird there, it is from its beak to its heart tip of the tail, two inches. I'm just going to get that in again to make sure. Yes, it is. And then the sentiment is two and a half inches. But I just think that's so sort of like pastel folk is the word that I'm going to use. Right. So next up is another of my designs and it's the doggy. And this is where I use the ragged edge tag and the smaller sort of like decor edge from Surprise Creation. This paper pack, I believe, is Echo Park. And I think it's called Dog Day, Dog Day Afternoon or something like that. And uh, it's got all like doggy bones and it's got little dogs and stuff in there. And it's quite a masculine looking pack. So I cut my dog in different shades of brown. I put a little bit of blush on his cheeks and I use my white gel pen just there at the top of the nose and in the eyes. And I did the bow in blue. But if you want to make it girly, you can cut your dog in whatever color you like. And you can cut the bows and you can put one on each ear and you'll have a really, really cute little girly dog. But that's what I did with mine. And I'm now going to measure it. So that is two and three quarter inches ear to ear. And then if I go on the top of the head there to the bottom of the bow, it's almost two and a quarter inches. So that is my cute, cute, cute little doggy die. Right. Next up is the eggs. And I did cut all three. And I used a sticker there from Dollar Tree. And this paper pad is that pretty posy one that I think I got from Michael's uh, with a coupon. Yeah, because it's like 30 bucks, isn't it? I think I did this in a video a few weeks ago, but it's gorgeous. And if I can get in really close, the texture on that paper there is like old fashioned wallpaper. But this Happy Easter sticker is from Dollar Tree. And you get a little felt, little fluffy ears on it, which I thought was really cute. So I thought I'd pop them on there. But what was going through my head when I did these is not just because they're nice Easter colours, and that's actually pink, not coral. Um, is those gorgeous cookies that you can get that are sort of like done in white icing and then they're flooded, a little bit wedgewoody. Have you seen those cookies? I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love watching people uh, make stuff like that. But I did all three so that you could see them and they're super easy to glue and layer up. And this is a double stitch slimline set from Surprise Creation, which if I can find the links, I'll put them below. And I will measure those eggs because they are a glorious size and it's just under three inches. That's the height. And of course, if you've got any... Um, little things just almost two and a quarter inches wide if you've got any little stands or something or something that would resemble a stand like um what are those dressmaker dummies things called that's what they're called aren't they dressmaker dummy dies you know those vintage style they're usually on a really pretty stand and you could actually cut that off and you could stand an egg on it and you could just bead it and pearl it or use your um, crystal drops and stuff and make them look like Fabergé eggs. So, right, I've been talking, I've got a sore throat, that's my haul, and tomorrow we're going to be up with this because somebody sent me wax beads, they sent me a couple of metallic pens and a melting spoon, I've got a 
couple of handles, well three, and I was sent a stamp which says made with love and I've got some wax candles. So I've never done sealing wax before and I hope I don't melt my camera or burn the house down. But I've got some KS Craft dies which I think are going to go really nicely with that. So that's going to be the tutorial tomorrow and uh, it's going to be teaching myself at the same time. So anyway, you have an absolutely awesome day as usual. All links are below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.